guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by. Today I would like to bring you my impressions about these uh, new lipsticks from uh, NARS. These are the Power Matte Lipsticks which uh, just came out this month and I would like to compare them also to the Dior, these were called the Rouge Dior transfer proof lipsticks. On to this Power Matte lipstick from NARS. This it debuted here um, last week, I believe. Yeah, it, it appeared on the website. Quite a few of the shades were sold out. I was really interested in this collection due to the brown colors. There were a lot of brown colors in the collection and I thought they would be perfect for fall. But when I looked at some of the colors, there were not anything special that I did not have something similar in my collection. So I ended up getting Dragon Girl, which is 132. This color really intrigued me. It is a beautiful red color. The other one that I really wanted was Hot Coral, but this one was sold out. So I came home with Dragon Girl. These lipsticks have 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 ounces. They are costing 30 euros and 50 cents here and I believe 34 dollars in the US. This is what they look like. The packaging is quite beautiful. It feels a bit velvety in the hands and uh, this is what the color Dragon Girl looks like. And this is a swatch of the color on my hands. It is a beautiful, I would say, cherry red color. Guys, I have already worn this lipstick in the beginning of the week and I applied this lipstick about an hour ago because I wanted you to see what it looks like after I have worn it for some time. Based on the website, yeah, it says it has a matte finish, 10 hour hold. Yes, it does last very long. It should be one swipe application and I'm reading from the German website, of course. For me, one swipe application, this was not the experience I made. It is supposed to be kiss proof. I put this on um, one hour ago, about an hour ago. It does not have much transfer, just a small amount. So this is okay and it's high intensive color and it's a creamy texture. Honestly guys, by looking at this lipstick on my lips, I do not know if it is only this shade. The application, the texture is creamy, but it does not remain very creamy on the lips. Please keep in mind, I do have mature skin. However, on my lips, as you can see, one hour later, the lipstick is quite, yeah, it is very dry. And I can say in certain areas, it is a bit patchy. Granted, I have only gotten one color. Sometimes it can be that the formula for one particular color can be patchy and problematic. So I only have one. I cannot compare to other lipsticks. But another YouTuber here that I do follow and I do love her reviews she is called Victoria S. Beauty. She did review quite a few of these lipsticks. She did find one or two which were also patchy. 
I don't think it is the same shade. This lipstick formula has its pros and its cons. I mean, like I said, this is not my first time wearing this. I did review these uh, Woosh Dior transfer proof lipsticks a couple of weeks ago and I am going to compare it to the NARS uh, lipstick. I will leave a link to the Dior video in the description box. For example, here is the Dior, um, Woosh Dior, the transfer proof lipstick, and here is the NARS. As you can see, the finish of the Dior lipstick, it is a bit more luminous. In terms of the two lipstick, the pros of the NARS lipstick is that it does last very long on the lips and after having eaten, this lipstick was still more or less looking okay on the lips. The color was still there. Also, another very good positive about the NARS. I don't know how it does this, but it does give a very nice plumping effect on the skin. What I don't like about this is that it is very drying on the lips. And as you can see, after about an hour of having this on my lips, it is not looking very attractive. It is very flat. And in my opinion, it doesn't make much sense to get a matte lipstick and then apply lip gloss on top of it because as soon as you add the lip gloss, then it is no longer transfer proof. The Dior Transfer Proof Lipstick, this one has a much prettier finish. It is not as long lasting as the NARS, but for my mature skin and the nooks and crannies I have on the lips, this one puts on a better show, you can say. This one looks a lot more attractive and it does not get dry and patchy as the day goes on. One of the cons of the Dior lipstick, and when I reviewed this lipstick, I did not mention transfer proof because with the Dior lipstick, I noticed as soon as I ate, this lipstick was no longer transfer proof. I mean, we all know when wearing matte lipsticks, sometimes when you eat, if whatever you're eating has a bit of, I would say, oil or fats, then the lipstick tends to break down a bit. The Woosh Dior Transfer Proof Lipstick the experience that I made and continue to make is after lunch. I need to remove this lipstick and completely reapply it. I also find it is easier to apply the Dior lipstick. They are both two very red colors. My verdict on the two lipstick formulas. For my mature skin and my imperfect lips at my age, I prefer the Dior lipstick. It is softer, it is not as drying, and okay, it is not as transfer proof as the NARS lipstick, but it looks better. Honestly, guys, I do not think I will be getting any more of these uh, lipsticks. I think I will try next the Bobbi Brown lipsticks, and I do have two 
of the Dior and I do have a lot of other matte semi matte lipsticks also I love the matte lipsticks from Dolce and Gabbana I will most likely end up giving this to my niece I mean she is a lot younger so maybe this will work um better for her anyway guys thanks for stopping by and for keeping me company today please remember to subscribe i do have a giveaway going on i will also place a link to the giveaway in the description box of this video take care guys have a lovely weekend and hope to see you again soon tschüss